Entertainment. to play. Aww. That makes Aww. me <laughs> Well, cheer up. Why don't we watch some old videos from our earlier days? Yeah! Maybe we can remember all the fun we used to have playing live. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah! That's a good idea. Mm. Alright. Here we go. What year is this? Well, this is... This is... So this is, this is uh, one of the first gigs ever. Yeah. Yeah. Brian and I's first gig together. Yeah, the first time ever. So much. All right. Wow, that was, fun. that was a fun one, eh, Brian? Uh, oh yeah, no, I had a ton of fun. But I had the sheet of paper in front of me with the chords on it because I didn't really know the songs that we were playing that night. It was uh, Lewis and I had just met and started play together and I played with him for maybe an hour before that gig. Um, it was, yeah. you know, the... It was the first song we worked on. It was. Um, and we still play it all the time, which is really cool. 
I think this is that was two gigs before I joined the band. Yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, I don't know if we were even really a band yet. It was just a gig, you know. We were, it was we played as the Lewis Smith Band, um, and uh, you know, it, it, we hadn't like become really a band yet. We were just kind of starting to play with each other, but uh, it was it was amazing. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it was super fun. I didn't play a lot of videos for a while. These first videos, I, I was on Upright mostly, um, which was what I was more comfortable with because I come from classical music and stuff. But um, but super fun. That was the first for me. That was the first time I stepped up and played with Lewis for an audience. I think we made eleven dollars that night yeah. and a sandwich. Eleven dollars <laughs> in twenty thirteen. That was probably a lot of money. Yeah, it was pretty good. The sandwiches uh, we got paid. They are delicious sandwiches. Dirty Nelly's Pub in Charlottesville. Yeah, that was the venue. You know, Dirty Nelly. I have yet to try Dirty Nelly's sandwiches. I <laughs> wanted to get down there. Hope that yeah, it's great. And that was Andrew. Know. That was Andrew Dre, our original sax player, who you'll probably see in the next few videos before Jake joined the band. Yeah, he yeah. was my first year roommate um, at UVA. So that that video was from my first year at UVA. Brian's second year at EVA, and um, good old Dirty Nelly's Pub. I, I'm a big fan of the club sandwich. They have a, a nice fireplace there, too, which is good in the winter. And Rolling Rock on tap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, here. Well, uh, shall we, we can queue up the next one? I'm, I'm in this next video. This is also... Within the first ten gigs of, of the band, we were still we were the Lewis Smith band at this point. Um, Spring yeah. of 2013. 20, 2014 or 2013? 2013. Let's get lost together. And I wouldn't even mind just sit right down here in the water. Let's take our time together and love. What another like we never had this kind of love before. Well, let's embrace each other and you could hold my hand as we slowly slip away. Slowly take it away. I know I'll see you tomorrow. You already know that, didn't you? And no one can keep us down. Well, the sky's not high enough, nor the clouds close to down.
Thank you. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Anytime. All right. All right. Nice. The first gig at the Biltmore, eh? Yeah, it was a beautiful day outside. Um, I was looking, I was wearing what I was wearing because I had an acapella performance, I think, right after or maybe right before that I had to run to. And that was, those were our colors or that was the attire or whatever. Um, my acapella career never took off, but. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. Uh, yeah, it hasn't taken yeah. off yet. Yeah. Oh, um, yeah. That's a good idea, Lewis. I like it. I like it. <laughs> that was, so that was maybe the, I don't know, the fifth or sixth gig we ever played together. And that was right before summer. So we kind of got a little momentum and then went on summer break and didn't play together pretty much until uh, until school got back in session. Yeah. yeah. You, you guys just watched the very first debut of that original song, Lost Together. Yeah. <laughs> Unreleased. We actually recorded it on uh, our first, our EP, the self-titled EP, Kendall Street Company, uh, in 2014, uh, with the four of us, Lewis, me, Ryan, and Andrew Drehoff, who we called Dre. Uh, and uh, and uh, we recorded actually five songs for that, and only three of them ended up being on it. Car is Wasted and uh, the Marty song. Um, and uh, that one never kind of made its way out, although maybe it will one day. And uh, I don't know. I like it a lot. Yeah, maybe we'll just, we still, the recording still exists. It just hasn't been dug up in a while. That's true. We could leak it, you know, like real sneaky, like. Yeah. <laughs> we did leak it. Anybody, anybody else catch a glimpse of those nachos? Get glimpse? Glimpse of nachos? That's hard to say. Anyway, of the built more nachos. Glimpse of the nachos. Anyway, right Has anybody had the nachos at Bill Morgan before? I have, yeah. Glimpse of the nachos. Glimpse of the nachos. <laughs> Our next record, Glimpse of the Nachos. It's Don't tell me, Brian. I'll vote for it. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. We can never be as beautiful as a delicious plate of nachos. Glimpse of the nachos. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, <laughs> shall we uh, see where we are next in, in history? <laughs> I thought, wait, wait, is it, is it oh. getting yet? I don't yeah. know. We're going forward a year to uh, 2014. Um, ready to roll the clip, I think. <laughs> so, this is a cover. Yeah. Um, and uh, the additional... There's one more person. So they contain the urge to run away, but hold her down with soggy clothes and weeds block. Citrusine, y'all be the scrapey again, never get a sense. See where I was at, no full stops. Do you know where the wild things go? They go along and dig your honey. La, 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 la. We buy the zine, build our breakfast, and let's eat my love, my love. Love, love, la, 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 la. I the muzzle and toe to toe. The fear is grim. Here I go. My heart sings as I jump up. Yeah, hands come down as my sun falls. Do you know where the wild things go? They go along and take your honey. We might have seen better breakfast and let's eat my love, my love, love, love. Just call. She fights with pistol sold, hold her down with soggy clothes and breeze blocks. La, 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 la. She's morphine, queen of my vaccine, my love, my love, oh, love, la, 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 la. I told her buzz, so the toe to toe. The fear is grip me, but here I go. My heart sings as I jump up. Yeah, I skip down as my son. Contain the urge to run away, but hold her down with soggy clothes and breeze block. Germaline, disinfect the scene, my love, my love, my love. Please don't go, I love you so, my darling. Oh, I love you. 
love you so, I love you so. Please don't go, please don't go. I love you so, I love you so. Please don't go, please don't go. I love you so, I love you so. Please don't go, please don't go. I love you so, I love you so. Please break my heart. Please don't go. I need you home. at Raptor, also in Charlottesville. A lot of these videos are from Charlottesville. You know where we're from. Or where we're based anyway. We all met at college, right? But um, that was fun. The um, auxiliary percussionist there, that's, that's uh, Bucky Henry. Um, he was in the band for a little while, left after he graduated. Uh, but uh, um, yeah. <laughs> Move to San Francisco. Also, yeah. also making a wonderful guest appearance in that video is Brian wearing the same shirt as he is right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my God, I'm actually wearing the same thing. Um, I'm amazed it's lasted that long. I like this shirt. You kind of blended in with your background, Brian. There. <laughs> yeah. And Lewis pointed out I have antlers. It's oh. actually, it's he's actually wearing a green jacket and it's a green screen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What is it like? It's for your pizza itself, so. It looks <laughs> yeah. like John Candy in planes, trains, and automobiles. What is the pajamas match the curtains? <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, oh, that. So, right while we were in college, uh, I guess midway through college was when Alt J's first album, An Awesome Wave, came out. And, I mean, all of us were pretty, pretty impressed by that record. I still, still am pretty impressed by that record. Um, and uh, that was a that was a fun cover that we did for a while. You know, Lewis and I still do it occasionally. Acoustic guitar, cajon duo, at uh, gigs gigs here in town every once in a while. Is that whiskey jar downtown? Rapture. Right that, was, that was Rapture. That's Rapture. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to my my dad, Eric Smith, for shooting. He shot the past three videos, which is pretty fun. He's a good historian. I think the next one too. Good pops, good pops. Good yeah, pop. Eric. Um, hmm. yeah. March forward. To yeah. The next one. Um, Let's do it. Next, going forward into 2015, which was uh, myself and Ryan's last year of college, uh, and it's a video of us performing. In front of the uh, This song is called Cars. Oh, this was one of the first videos I ever saw. Yeah. This actually was the first you video. You can find it at candlestreetcompany.com. <laughs>
That was a very fun show. <laughs> that was a good rendition of Cars, too. Yeah, I think so, too. Yeah. Um, in also, front of the... also with Bucky, also with Price, Price on the Keys. Yeah, Price Gillick. Um, to oh. answer Gordon, Gordon, your question, it, it's, the, it's the lawn when the rotunda was still under construction. Uh, Which was a long time. Was... Which was a long time. Yeah, I think they were redoing the Capitals is what their main project was. So they kind of shut it down. So it looks a little weird, but that's oh, the one. that's what that question meant. When I said, where's the band? I was like, we're not there right now. You know, <laughs> we're not no, we disagree. Well, I think that that was a reference to the, you, you couldn't see us behind all the people. <laughs> yeah, I think that was that, though, yeah. Ah, <laughs> that's what I need to uh, Option three. Oh, uh, yeah. Anyway. Not bad. Yeah, that, was, that, was that was 2015, the spring of 2015, um, I believe. And you saw some people were dressed up for uh, whatever functions. It's uh, Ryan, you were, I think, about uh, you and Dre maybe had a marching band thing. Yeah, Dre, uh, our saxophone player, Andrew, and I were both in the marching band together. We were both dressed up for some, some function or something. I don't know what it was. Price was dressed up for some fraternity thing. I don't know what it was. Good times. <laughs> good times go who's, as they say. That's yeah, good they... times go who's. Well, cool. Well, should we see what the, the next iteration is? Yeah, I think so. The next one's a little uh, funky. It's um, on the radio. Yeah. <laughs> That's the that's the local UVA radio station WTJU. 
did a live session with them. Um, I was, did a little acoustic gig. I was it was fun to get to play Cajon. I still got that same Cajon back back on a shelf over there. Um, that gig was uh, wow. Well, that's the first one of these videos that Ben Ben is in, which is pretty cool. And that's not the first. Also, gig. What's that? But not the first gig. Not the first gig. Yeah. But that that WTJU show was where we debuted four down for the first time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. In a very uh, in a very different uh, way. It hadn't been really been written yet. Yeah. All the words are different from that recording. So it's a really cool one. If you go find it, it's on uh, YouTube. It's on YouTube. <laughs> Is it on YouTube? Yeah. Um, and if you if you guys don't if anybody who's listening is from Charlotte still here or they're in Richmond see WTJU is a really awesome radio station they play all sorts of the wild all their programming you know it might be opera it might be metal it can be anything in between folk music whatever um, so I recommend checking that out too uh, but yeah Ben had been playing with us for a little while before that um, and uh, uh, that one was it was, I think, just after Jake, I think you had joined the band, but it was your first year at college, or was that, um, no, was, this, that Brian, 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 this was right after we recorded Earth Turns, and we were heading up to D.C. for, like, the first time, or maybe it was the second gig in D.C. or something. Gotcha. Third. the summer of my joining, but before I joined. Yeah, okay, so it was right before you joined, and it was right as Jay was leaving the band. He had gotten into a graduate program uh, and, uh, you know, went on to do that. Yeah. She's an ex excellent physical therapist. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I played, our posture correct. I, I played start like a few shows in 2015, but then I went to Spain for a semester. And Christ was also in Belgium. We actually met up. It was kind of cool. And then we both came back and did the Earth Turns thing, and then I just slowly joined gig by gig until it was every gig. Yeah. Because you were playing in a different a different band at the time. Oh, yeah, the Smash awesome. Islanders. We slowly got you to sit in with us more and more until it never changed. <laughs> the Smiley Islanders are awesome. You guys are on Spotify, right? You, so yeah, Spotify, yeah. Check, check out yeah, that. Yeah. The Smiling Islanders on Spotify bands. <laughs> Uh, original great, some great recording. songs some really really great songs oh yeah i still get the uh what's the who's knocking at my door, who's like knocking at my door? <laughs> yeah <laughs> um hey so, 1400 plays not bad <laughs> yeah well, jake. well jake so the you, the last video of us at the rotunda was the first one you saw when you were yeah. considering joining the band, and then this one was the second one, and yeah. so you know what? What were your thoughts when you saw those videos, and and you were considering considering joining Kendall Street Company? Uh, well, I was like, all right, these cats look pretty cool. Like they're pretty involved in the UVA scene. Um, you know, people seem to like them. They've got good music. They flow well. They jam well. They listen to each other, which was the number one thing for me at that time still is but, you know, uh, i was like all right i just want to make sure that it's a it's a you know what's the right word here um it's a band where people listen to each other and, and give each other a spotlight when necessary you know it's and, fluid yeah fluid's a good word to describe it yeah i would say i was impressed by both videos uh and i would Your i would first impression was that we are fluid that's cool uh, I mean, I don't know if that's the word that came to my mind, but in hindsight, yes. Um, <laughs> that was actually, the WTJU video was filmed in, in Lam they have since moved, but uh, that was filmed in Lambeth, where I would eventually live and spend a lot of time in the next few years. So it was kind of, you know, interesting to be in that spot where a lot of music was filmed. Not just this video, but I, I was impressed and uh, excited after upon watching. You know. Dig it. Cool. I wish uh, I had recorded my thoughts in 2016 so that I could recall them. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 2020, I would want to find them out again. <laughs> you can walk around with a voice record. I mean, I guess we all do. It's a cell phone, right? <laughs> <laughs> Science. They're always listening, Brian. They're always listening. Always listening. 
Silent. Always listening. <laughs> All right. Uh, so how about the next video, guys? What is it? What is the next one? Uh, it's at uh, Locket Festival. The first, what? Uh, first we're playing there this fall. Hey, yeah. Hell yeah. <clears throat> Do it. Just another day. Crying like lilac, like, moving from the sun to the shade. Going by step inside, it's alright, have a drink on me. I'm on this band, I don't mind what you mean. Talk about the Monday night blues, pick up on your rain blues, please. Looking out the door. Conversation slow down, and now it's in the same vein. Pull out another spirit, man. I got space for days, and what I never did to say, still keep being the same. Space for days, and what I never did to say, still keep being the same.
Wow. That's that's still one of the best days in Kindle Street history for me. Yeah, oh, you're right, man. Surprise. Probably our biggest show. Yeah, I mean, that's 15,000 people or whatever, you know. It's just a festival with only one stage, or at least that's what it was then. It was abs- it was so powerful. It went by in such a flash because you know, we'd won the the uh, Rock into Lock in competition to get a slot at Lock in, and we kind of kicked off the festival. There was a short thing, 30 minute thing before us, and then there was us. Um, and uh, then it was like Humphreys McGee, and the stage turns around, so the stage just turns around, and Humphreys kicks it. And, like that was just such a the whole thing went by in such a flash for me, but it was so fun. <laughs> Agreed. Same. <laughs> yeah, that was so well, much fun. Yeah, that this was my introduction to jam music pretty much. Uh, I hadn't really heard of most of the bands on the bill at Lock in that year. So I spent a lot of time Googling them. Because we were the first band on Thursday, so we had every opportunity to see every band pretty much. Lock in does it right, so you can see pretty much every band that they have at the festival, you know, just pushing between the two stages. And the rotating stage really helps that out, which was a really weird experience, but pretty cool. Very cool, and that was that was Price Gillick's final final gig with Kindle Street Company. His very last show, yeah. Um, he's he he's sat the, in with us since then, but this yeah, was his yeah. last like last show as a member of. Yeah, he uh, had gotten uh, he he got a job after he graduated and had just graduated. The, um, that show that lock in, you know, was in the early summer, so it was. Um, yeah, it was Price's last show. He'd already, we'd already had, Price had been kind of training Andrew King, who you'll see in the next couple videos, uh, on the songs and everything, uh, to kind of take over and go along with us further. So, um, that was kind of how that happened. So that makes the moment even more kind of bittersweet, uh, because it's such this powerful, incredibly huge show and everything. And then someone who'd been with the band, you know, at that point, more than a couple of years, uh, you know, moving on, it was, you know, a little sad. Yeah. This was also this was also the first show that I ever used a pedal board with my saxophone, which I had spent a couple months before experimenting with, but had never tried live. And uh, I was like, I'm gonna whip it out at Lock and see how it goes. And I don't <laughs> think I used it. I don't think I used it at all. But uh, in my mind, <laughs> I was like, right, it's working. The preamps work. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know that. That was the trial period. Yeah, that was the first show that I ever used to that. If I'd known that, I'd have been like, <laughs> yeah. I've been like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> You're <laughs> trying out a new like, ring at Lockin? <laughs> <laughs> you were like, that's cool, man. Oh. Try it out. Oh, I did? Yeah. All that, the- must have, that must have been 2017 oh. me. <laughs> <laughs> he, he was more reckless. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess that. <laughs> that was such a crazy day too, man. I, I left my wallet on the top of my car at a gas station on the way there, so I showed up to lock in. Like you know, our gig was later that day. You know, we showed up, you know, hours before, however much early we needed to be. But <laughs> I'd gone separately to bring like a tent and supplies and stuff. And uh, I show up and I realize I'd left my wallet with the cash. I had just a few hundred bucks I withdrawn for the festival um, on the roof of my car and. You know, luckily, you know, my friends helped me out and I paid it back and everything. But I was lucky I was able to get in because they were like, who's this guy? I was like, I swear I'm in one. <laughs> like, I pulled up our website on, on my phone and was like, see my face and on the, on the website. <laughs> <laughs> and it's there on your list, like, that we're playing in, like, four hours. I need to get in. The, um, it was, uh, they I forgot like, about that. But it was it was wild. I was so I was just like my head was all over the place. I didn't have my wallet or my ID or whatever. And, um, uh, but it, it was it was it was an absolutely crazy, insane day and weekend. Uh, some, somewhere I have a picture of uh, our van and trailer next to Humphreys McGee's like two semi trucks. <laughs> it's just minuscule. It's like so funny. Um, oh yeah. Ben Ben had an interesting uh, encounter with Humphreys McGee backstage. Ben, you wanna you wanna elaborate on that? I mean, in, in one to keep it uh to keep it brief, I just got crushed in cornhole by Ryan Stasek. 
<laughs> and uh, we talked about some things. He was like, uh, he asked about the instrumentation of the band. Um, and I was like, guitar, drums, uh, keyboards, electric guitar, vocals. And then he was, and Ryan Stasek was like, what about bass? And I was like, nah, I'm not bass. <laughs> and it was just totally <laughs> <mistake forever. laughs> I met Steve oh. David at that uh, that walk in. We had a nice conversation. That's very cool. Yeah. It's my first David. Cool. It was really cool. I got to. Brian, it was fun. Woke up in the burning heat. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's so hot. David was all day. <laughs> it I got to meet. Uh, I met Jim James of My Morning Jacket that weekend, and I uh, I got to actually talk to Matt Apps, the drummer of Drum is a favorite of mine for a long time so great great memories of that weekend yeah, Bob Weir walked like five feet, feet, feet away from me mm. <laughs> it's real <laughs> I don't he's know. about to be back this fall that I didn't, it'll be cool in the fall Literally, I, didn't, I didn't dare say hello to Bob Weir <laughs> yeah, I didn't say anything Phil Lashy I was pretty close to the open point I, I just I'm like, I don't want to. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Lock-in coming up in October. Yeah. Postponed, but not gone. Hey, also, folks, uh, if you're enjoying yourselves, you're going to want to uh, comment, like, and subscribe <laughs> on the YouTube channel, everybody. You're going to want to comment, like, and subscribe. Yeah! <laughs> comment section is going pretty well right now so if, you, if you're not in the comment section you're missing out I think. <laughs> um, all right well shall we shall we move on to um the next uh, chapter of the band yeah 2018 we're in 2018 now it's coming up what a year Un union stage dc this next song no. is a song about cheese <laughs> <laughs>
Page one cheddar. You're so smooth. So smooth. Page white cheddar. It makes me wanna move. Hey. Oh, yeah. I think that was the Remote Vision album release show. Yeah. Yeah, that was the Remote Vision yeah. album release. I was I was wrong before the video. That's the Jefferson Theater, which is that's that's still probably my favorite place to play concerts. I love it. Yeah, that's 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 the place. Yeah, man, that's the that's the good shit right there. <laughs> that's a fun show. That was a really fun show. Uh, Andrew King on keys there. Kicking her ass, man. Trippy yeah. jams. Yeah. But that was a super fun show. That was another one of one of those big shows for us, right? You know, um, like, not exactly the same as Lockin, but uh, was that the first time we sold out the Jefferson? Or maybe we even just almost sold it out, but it was packed, and so, you I know. I think that time was the, was the first time we sold it out. You might be right. I think yeah, that may yeah. have been. Um, which was like super great for us because the Jefferson Theater is here in Charlottesville as well. And um, it's kind of the biggest uh, venue for rock bands outside of, you know, there's the pavilion on the downtown mall and then there's like John Paul Jones arena and stuff where I saw like Fleetwood Mac, right? But but as far as like most touring bands, you know, the Jefferson's the place to be playing in Charlottesville and uh, uh, people who work there are great. And so it's, super fun and we've gotten to know them really well over the years but uh um like that's it's always a fun time to play for you know friends and family and like people from the town here and uh put on like a big production we'll always try to do something special like the most recent one was on valentine's day we did a the love boat supreme show which we featured part of in a previous containment entertainment episode it's uh it's been fun to, to kind of watch through these videos um you know along with along with everyone right now and see just kind of the evolution of how the band has become a little more, you know, a little more jammy, or how we're willing to take some more risks on stage and whatnot. And um, that was it's been it's been cool seeing each of these videos kind of stretch out a little bit more. Oh yeah, yeah. I just want to thank you for the, oh, I'll give Gordon for saying Love Boat Supreme was amazing. It was a lot of fun to make and play. <laughs> yeah, and ben, ben made the arrangement for that, so thank him. Thank you, Ben. Oh, you're, you're hey, Louis, Lu yeah. you... <laughs> favorite Zelda game t-shirt game is 10 out of 10. It's actually not a Zelda shirt that Louis is wearing right now. Um, Surprisingly. Yeah. Asher so McLaughlin. <clears throat> yeah. You should show the, show the back of the shirt. All right. You might have to make noise so it goes to your camera. Hello, hello, <laughs> hello, hello. Hello, 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 hello. Working nice. on me? Hello, 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 hello. Can you see it? <laughs> nice. Shake that booty, Lewis. <laughs> um, Aged White Cheddar's a fun tune. It's about cheese. If you go to the album, you will find a very different version. Yeah. And the album yeah, version is, uh, yeah, is like completely acoustic with room mics, and we did the whole thing live. And 
Honestly, the, I mean, it was very fun to record that way too, and it's cool that it exists in, in multiple kind of formats, but really fun to take that song and really make it loud live. Yeah, it's kind of like the Wild West TV show theme version of this song. <laughs> this album. Um, but, uh, cool. And let's get on to the next one. Moving into not quite 2019, it was like the this... last week of 2018. Um, this union this stage. This is actually a DC union stage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
That was a fun, trippy thing. <laughs> yes. I mean, that song's always a journey. I really, I really love, I really love that one. I mean, Lewis, Lewis wrote that. Um, but that, that's, that song to me, it's like an epic, you know, like by definition, I guess. <laughs> by Homer's definition. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. It's, it's an odyssey. It's an epic. I was going through the Google Drive the other day. Uh, I really love that one. I really love that one. I really that one. That one. But that, that's, Holy shit. Yeah. Sam! Hey! What's up? Hey! We'd like to introduce everybody to Sam Cassells, who directed and shot the video that you just saw. Yeah. Uh, well, I want to shout out... Uh, I want to shout out Billy Burgess because yeah. uh, you always know super fan Billy Burgess. You always know when he's in the crowd because uh, he'll 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 make sure to let you know. Uh, <laughs> usually within the first thirty seconds, and then intermittently throughout the show as well. Uh, <laughs> Billy's the man. Bill, yeah, Billy's the man. Uh, yeah, the, uh, yeah. This was a, this was fun to make. Uh, Best best part about uh, editing it was was Tim McKinney, uh, seven PBRs deep, yelling at the top of his lungs to request Pine Grove while y'all were still sound checking. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember that, but that's pretty funny. <laughs> that's awesome. Uh, Sam no. Sam is also a part of the team that is making uh, this live stream happen right now, which is yeah, sure. continuing that entertainment. This whole series they've they've been behind a lot of that. Sam and, Sam and Carter Levinson, who is... Um, yeah, shout out, to, is, shout out to Carter Levinson, who is currently running this on the Switcher live. Yeah, uh, he's, he's the logo in the corner. He's the one that doesn't have a face. Uh, <laughs> he has a face. He, like, yeah. he has a face. He has a face. It's not on the screen. I, I promise. Hello, so, I'm hey, here. Should, 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 should we... Uh, we should, we should, like, we should charge Billy like 20 bucks and like send him the Google Hangout link. <laughs> Just like, you know, you, you, you can, you can, you can join, but it's going to cost you, buddy. <laughs> it would be, it would be fun to do a kind of big group. Just invite everybody who's watching on one of these to, to, to jump in the chat and actually get in. Really? Um, we have them for free. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Billy's one of a, one of many people who've been giving us um, fairly consistent donations. We thank you all, uh, Billy and everybody else uh, who's been donating to us on uh, Venmo or on uh, PayPal or who's been, you know, on our website buying stuff. Uh, this is a kind of tough time for musicians everywhere, right? Uh, and people every. I mean, not to say that if you're not a musician, this isn't a really tough time for everybody. Um, Good save, Brian. But, <laughs> yeah, but you know, we're, we're we're you know trying to do as much as we can, you know, present good content to you this way, and and uh, you know staying fresh, and um, but not having any gigs and everything's really great. That you guys are helping support us in other ways, and um, if you weren't aware, by the way, uh, there are pre-orders for like vinyl records for the new album that we have coming out in June. Um, the nautical nautical is what that's called, a kind of still a collection of songs, and. Um, uh, so you can support us and get things in return too. And there's also uh, shirts that, that we'll have for that soon, and uh, all sorts of other good stuff uh, that's there. But anyway, I did want to go ahead and thank everybody uh, who's been coming to these streams. I'm recognizing a lot of similar faces on these streams um, every week, and it's really great to have the support of uh, everybody who supports us, but especially um, the kind of, the kind of fans who are you know, and friends who are tuning in, uh, you know, weekly to, to be watching these streams or at least to watch, you know, a few of these streams. And so we really thank you for your support and being totally awesome people. Hell yeah, man. Second, awesome. second. Agree. For public television. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Brought to you by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting. Do you like the content you just saw? <laughs> All right. Here's, yeah. here's a segue, though. So we got this new album uh, that we're putting out on vinyl. And uh, on the on the side of the record, we're including the 2019 uh, EP that we put out, uh, Lunar Dude. 
And uh, the next video that we're going to play is weird, dude. live from Charlottesville, live from the X Art Park Looking Glass, right when uh, all this containment stuff started started happening. So this was this is from uh, one of our the first episodes of Containment Entertainment. This was one of the live streams we put out. Our history presentation has reached the present. Ah, from from conception to containment. <laughs> Roll the clip. <laughs> all right, all right. So uh, this next tune here is a song from our latest release. Whose phone is that? It's that one. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. What, what's Whoa. going on? Oh, the drum car. Oh. We get, we're getting the call on a camera. You don't want you don't want to create an angry mom. Your mom? <laughs> Color number nine, you're on the air. <laughs> camera five was my favorite camera, and you guys took it away. Put back camera five. Who was, don't, who don't was it, Ben? Don't call us. Don't call us, people. We're, we're using our cell phones to, <laughs> who was it, ben? to film a music video. I really video. can't say it out loud. Was it? I feel like it was like Billy or something. Probably. <laughs> Man, I, I really want to want to have these, like, Forrest being like a Forrest now on stage every time. I've got a taste of this, yeah, this space. the vines. You've got a taste it's of a really the foliage. A ta taste of the foliage, yes. That should be Very the name nice. of the record. Taste should we of the foliage. Taste of the foliage? I, I, yeah. I kind of like it. We'll bring the set. Yeah. We'll bring the set with us on the road. Live from the Looking Glass on tour. We provide jobs. That's what we do. We're, we're job creators in this economy. By the way, if you didn't catch it, there, there was a video at the very beginning about kind of the making of this space. We're in kind of one corner. It's much bigger than this. There's all sorts of different vibes and ideas. It's, it, it's very cool and inspiring. Local Charlottesville artists put it together. We and hope to show you more of it. called The Looking Glass. Sorry, I don't know if we said the name. I think it's in the video title. <laughs> True. <laughs> the graphic. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Okay, back to the entertainment, guys. Let's get <laughs> All righty. Oh, oh you ba, ba, again, ba, 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 ba. This is Lunar Dude. My favorite superhero. <laughs>
champion of the sun. You're a master of karate and friendship for everyone. Fighter of the night, man. Champion of the sun. You're the master of karate and friendship for everyone. They took you, Dave, and you don't Been living in a world of darkness. How I miss your tender hands. The sun. They're six feet away, and I want them six the feet closer. This world. All right, all right. <laughs> and the journey is complete. We've reached the front. So far, yeah, I guess there's more. There's future. This I wish we could right now. stream some shows from the future right now, but that would tear a hole in the fabric of space time, and we don't know what would happen then. <laughs> It'd be pretty lunar, dude. True, dude. We all might have to go into social distancing and stay in our houses or something crazy like that. <laughs> oh, that would never we wouldn't want that. Uh, 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 man, that was a good time. That was the what, the first containment entertainment. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 That whole show. Is that the very first one? Yeah. 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 You can find that whole show on the YouTube. Hey, Brian, Brian, can you uh, can you can you do an acapella song? <laughs> an acapella song? Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Like, so there's probably a slight. We can, we can do it without rhythm. Yeah, it's hard because our, all the videos are on delays. Boom, boom, boom. La la. La la. La la. La la. La la. It's beautiful. Oh, maybe, we'll, maybe we'll get one worked out. Maybe we'll get one worked out for the, the week to come. The week to come. Yeah, hey, uh, Ben, I don't, Ben, I don't hear you singing over there, bud. Oh, uh, the, the inspiration is not here. <laughs> inspiration. Let's use that as an that word as an inspiration. <laughs> Inspiration. Inspiration. No, 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 no. Inspiration. <laughs> Is this what you wanted? <laughs> <laughs> uh.
Oh man. Ein Sparatayan. Yeah. Oh, very cool. Well, uh, is the rat ion. It's the rat ion. Call it a rat for the evening. Um, they're getting laid out there, getting past everyone's bedtimes, I know. <laughs> and Lewis is going crazy. <laughs> You can't go somewhere when you're already there, Ryan. We're all this is this is what we do after every game. You just we just pretty do. much. Yeah. Hey, 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 Ryan. Hey, hey, Lewis. Are you wearing pants? Find out next week. <laughs> <laughs> that's what that's what you should do the next time we do. <laughs> Are oh, oh, you wearing pants? <laughs> <laughs> the new game, the new hit containment game show. Oh, Let's play. Is he wearing pants? That's great. That could be a whole thing. Well, hey, thank you. Uh, thanks for everyone for tuning in. This is uh, this has been a really another fun episode of Containment Entertainment. And uh, episode seven of Question Mark. Yeah. yeah, we could call it Schrodinger's pants. Schrodinger's pants, dude. It's genius. <laughs> Schrodinger's pants, the new hit game show. <laughs> Where it's just people on the Caucasian girl, Scott. Roll the credit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We love you all. We love you all. See you guys next week. Saturday, 8 p.m. Episode 8. Be there or be square. Square.